Hi, and welcome to our Supermicro Tech Talk. Today I have with us a senior product manager, Kevin Tao, of a brand new product line called Cloud DC. Hi Kevin, how are you doing? Hi Heather, so thanks for having me here today. So Cloud DC is a short for Cloud Data Centers. Now it, it is a new lineup of server that is optimized for data center and cloud solutions. Cloud DC server have high flexibilities, which allow customers to fine tune their configuration to get the most value of it. So can you highlight some of the key benefits of Cloud DC? Absolutely, Heather. Cloud DC is a data center optimized server that are very cost effective and have a great expandability. It has a total six PCIe expansion slots, in addition to dual OCP 3.0 support. Since it's designed to be balanced architectures, the PCIe slots are equal split between the two CPUs. Customer can pick the best of their applications. What's the best about our Cloud DC servers are compact and powerful. The systems are dual socket and support up to 270 watt TB TDP ice lake CPUs. There are 16 themes slots available for DDR4 3200 megahertz memory plus high performance MME storage support. Can you share some use cases of this server? Definitely, Adrian. Cloud DC can fit into a lot of applications out there. For example, OpenStack is one of them. Cloud DC can deliver volume to volume performance rack. In most of cases, it's an ideal balance between compute and storage nodes. For instance, the main drive base can do SATA, SAS, and high performance MMVs, while the system itself can support dual CPU up to 80 cores. The six real expansion slots are capable of powering various cards like FPGA, GPUs, storage, RAID cards, thereby making the server suitable for most cost effective and public private clouds, as well as edge computing and content delivery networks. So I heard that Cloud DC is also building block. Is that correct? You're absolutely right, Heather. Cloud DC is indeed a building block solution. Since the servers are fully customizable, customers can choose part and make the server most optimized for their solutions. Let me introduce you Bala, who will show you more inside the server for more details. So just as Kevin said, I'd like to introduce you, Bala, our system engineer for Cloud DC. How are you doing? Ah, doing good. Thank you for having me here, Heather. Absolutely. What we're looking at here is the 2U Cloud DC system. At the front, we can see there are 12 drive bay, and they're all 3.5 inch bays. But however, they have a special T to it. That is, uh, if we pop one open here, these are all toolless, meaning we can just pop it out like this and just put it back in. In addition to that, there are like four mounting holes in the back. These are meant for uh, 2.5 inch hard drives. Mm -hmm. And finally, it has an interchangeable label. So depending on what customer wants, whether it be NVMe, SATA, or SAS, they can just change out the label to either yellow for NVMe or purple for SATA SAS. So yeah, this system supports hybrid for all SATA SAS and NVMe. So depending on uh, what customer need for their application workload, they can go with either. So that's the front side. Uh, let's take a look at the back. Mm -hmm. And at the back here, we can see there are six PCIe slots at the top. Uh, there's three connected to CP1 and the other three is connected to CP2. So it makes it very balanced across the two CPUs. And the special thing about these six PCIe slots is that uh, the lanes, the PCI lanes can be interchanged. So meaning if customer wants more card, they can do that. Or if they want to give more lanes to fewer cards, they can also do that. And what we see at the bottom here, these are what Supermicro call AIOM slots. They accept OCP 3.0 uh, NIC cards, and we have two of them. And apart from that, um, we also have for IO, we have VGA, a serial port, two USB 3.0, and a BMC LAN port. Interesting, so what are the two cards on the bottom? So the one on the left side here, this is our Supermicro 1G SFP card. And on this side is the third party Marvel 2G, 10G uh, card. And these 
are both uh, the this system except both third party as well as uh, our own super micro cards so whichever customer choose they can put it in the system I think that covers uh, pretty much it for the backside. Uh, shall we take a look at what's inside? Oh yeah, absolutely. So here we can see these two metal cages. So these are the um, expansion card cages and they are for the six cards that we mentioned earlier. Now, the cool thing about these brackets are that they're fully toolless. So we don't have to unscrew anything. Now, before we take it out, we do have to remove these riser cables here. So once we do that, we hold it by the tab and lift this out. And voila. Super convenient. You have these uh, cards that can just pop over with the latch, take it out, put it back in. No screw whatsoever. And uh, on the right side here, we do have a GPU install inside. So yes, this system definitely supports up to two double width GPUs with these uh, one U heat sinks. So this chassis is really compact. How do you power and cool it? So the GPUs here, um, the PDB, they can provide up to two A pins for external power. So they can connect to those two GPUs. And as for cooling, if customers do decide to get their own GPU, we do have a special air shroud designed for it. So now that um, the two brackets are out of the way, Let's take a look at the motherboard. Mm -hmm. So um, there are a lot of components in here. I'll just walk you through the important ones. So this is dual socket. So we support up to 270 watt TDP i6 CPU. There are 16 DIMMs total. And of course, there's also two onboard M.2 slots. So I see a lot of ports on the motherboard. What are they for? So this ports in the middle, they are for SATA. And the other ones, the white ones around them, including with the one connected with this cable, they are what we call PCIe ports. So depending on what customer wants, they can either power more NVMe drives or they can give it to the riser card to power more AOCs. I see, it looks like a redundant system too. Definitely, so we do have two 1200 uh, watt power supply here uh, that can power the system, as well as a PDB to distribute all that across every component. And I think the last part would be this backplane here. So this was the one, the backplane that can power both SATA, SAS, and NVMe all in one. So this all opens up uh, to all kinds of different possibilities and various configurations. I could definitely see what you're saying. Um, that is the overall of the system. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to know? I think we learned a lot about Cloud DC. Oh, just one last thing. Mm -hmm. So anytime you hear anything about cloud applications or data center, just remember it's in the name Cloud DC. <laughs> I, I think I'll definitely be able to remember that one. Thank you so much, Bala. And once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for introducing us to this new product line of Supermicro. And thank you all for joining us for a Supermicro Tech Talk. Learn more at supermicro.com forward slash x12. Powered by Intel.